hen's home you idle creature get your home is this a holiday speak what made at the why sir carpenter where is the leather apron and the rule you sir what read are you indeed sir a mender of bad salts the naughty knee what read i am indeed sir a surgeon to all shoes but wherefore art not in these shops today why does thou lead these men about the streets but wherefore art not in these shop today why does thou lead these men about the streets truly sir to wear out their shoes to get myself into more work but indeed sir we make holiday to see caesar and t three joys in his chamber wherefore rejoice what conquest bring he come what tributaries follow him to rome go go good countrymen see whether they are beset metal be not moved they vanish chunk tied in their guiltiness may we do so you know it is the feast of philopagal it is no matter let no image be hung with caesar's trophies caesar who calls with every noise be still peace yet again who is it in the press that calls on me I hear tongues thrill than all the music cry Caesar speaks Caesar's turn to hear Beware the ides of march what a soothsay bids you beware the ides of march set her before me let me see her face come from throng look upon Caesar What says thou to me now? Speak again. Beware the ides of March. A dreamer, let us live. Good evening, Casca. Why are you breathless, and why stay you so? Are not you moved when all the sway of earth shakes like a thing uniform? Why, sir, you are thing more wonderful. Good night. Then, Casca, this disturbed sky is not to walk in. Farewell, sister. Who's there? A Roman. Casca, by your voice, you are here is good. Cassius, what night is this? A very pleasing night to Hannah's man. They say senators tomorrow a mean to establish Caesar as a king, and he shall wear his crown by sea and land in every place save here in Italy. I know where I will wear this tag then. Cassius from bondage will deliver Cassius. So, can I stand close a while? For here comes one in haste. This Tina, I do know him. He is a friend. To find out you, who is that? Metalus Timber. No, it is Casca. One incorporate to our atoms. I am glad on me. What a fearful night is this. Oh Cassius, if you could but win the noble Brutus to our party. Well, I will hide.
Lucius, Lucius, I say. Call you, my lord. Get me a wrapper in my study. I will, my lord. The wrapper be need in your closet, sir. Get you to bed again. It is not day. It is not tomorrow. The ides of March, sir. March is wasted fourteen days. This good. Go to the gate. Somebody knocks. Sir, it's Cassius at the door. Who dared this year to see you? Is he alone? No. So there are more with him. Let them mend. Every man of them, and a man here, but the honey's dead. They all welcome, give me your hands all over one by one, and let us wear our resolutions proper today. Let us not leave him now. No, by no means. Oh, let us have him. Let Anthony and Caesar fall together. The clock had stricken three. This time to part. Hayes Ligarius, that bears his heart. I wonder none of you have thought of him. Good medallers go along by him. What mean you? Wherefore rise you now? You have one gently brutus stolen from bed, and just a night at supper you suddenly rose and walked about muzzing and singing with your arms closed. And when I asked you what the matter was, you stared upon me with ungently looks. I urge you further, then you scratch your head and too impatiently stamp with your foot. Brutus, dear, make me acquainted to your curse of grief. I am not well in health, and that is all. Brutus is wise, and were he not in health, he would embrace the means to come by it. Why? So I do. Good Portia, go to bed. Is Brutus sick? And is he? Now earth have been at peace tonight. Thrice hath California in her sleep cried out, Help! Who? They murder Caesar, who is within. My lord, go bid the priest to present sacrifice and bring me their opinions of success. I will, my lord. And I do fear them. But can we avoid a cruel sin this purpose by the mighty gods? Yet Caesar shall go forth for these predictions are to the world in general purposes. The words die many times before their deaths. The world never 
taste of death what once of all the wonders that they did have lived. It seems to me more strange that we the men should fear, seeing that death the necessary end will come when it will come. consumed in confidence do not go for today calling my fear that keeps you in the house and not your own will send Mark Anthony to the Senate house and he shall say you are not let me upon my knee prevail in this Mark Anthony shall say I am not well and for the humor I will say at home Caesar, all hail, good morrow, what the Caesar, I come to fetch you to the Senate house. And you are come in a very happy time to bear my greeting to the Senators and tell them that I will not come today, tell them so, this is, say he is sick. Shall Caesar send the light? My Lord, go bid the praise to present sacrifice and bring me their opinions of success. I will, my Lord. What do you mean, Caesar? Thing you to walk for. You shall not stay out of your house today. Caesar shall fought. Caesar, I never stood on ceremony. Yet now they fried me. Oh, sister, these things are beyond all years, and I do fear them. But can we avoid a cruel sin this purpose by the mighty gods? Yet, sister, shall go forth, for these predictions are to the world in general. seems to me more strange that we, the men should fear, seeing that death the necessary end will come when it will come. Alas, my love, your wisdom is consumed in confidence. Do not go for today, calling my fear that keeps you in the house and not your own. Will send Mark Anthony to the Senate house and he shall say you are not let me upon my knee prevail in this. Mark Anthony shall say I am not well and for the humor I will say at home. Caesar, all hail, good morrow, what the Caesar, I come to fetch you to the Senate house. And you are come in a very happy time to bear my greeting to the senators and tell them that I will not come today, tell them so, this is, say he is sick. Shall Jesus and the light? The ides of March are come. Hey, Caesar, but not gain. Where is Metalus Timper? Let him go and presently prefer his suit to Caesar. He is addressed Presnia and second him. Casca, you are the first that raised your hand. As we all ready, what is now amidst the Caesar and his senate must redress? Most high, most mighty, and most piercing Caesar, Metalus Timber throws before thee seat and humble heart. I must prevent thee, Timber, the brother, by decrees is banished if thou dost bend and pray and found for him I spurn thee like a car out of my way. Is there no wise more worthy than my own to sound more sweetly in great Caesar's ear for the repealing of my banished brother? Caesar, desiring thee that Publius 
timber may have an immediate freedom of repair. What? Brutus? Pardon, Caesar, Caesar pardon, as low as to the foot of Cassius for to beg imprisonment for Publius timber. Oh, Caesar, hence will thou lift up Olympus, great Caesar. That not Brutus bootless kneel. Speak hand for me. Liberty, freedom, irony is dead. Cry out liberty, freedom, and imprisonment. People and senators be not be affected. Fly out, stand stiff, ambitions, David kiss, pain. Go to public voters and Cassius too. Stand fast together. Let some friends of Caesar shoot. Soft, who comes here? A friend of Fantinis. Thus, Brutus, did my master bid me kneel. Thus did Mark Anthony bid me fall down. Say I have feared Caesar, honored him and loved him. If Brutus will vouchsafe that Anthony may safely come to him and be resolved. How Caesar had deserved to lie in death. The master is a wise and valiant Roman. I never thought him was. Tell him, so please him, come unto this place. He shall be satisfied and by my honor depart untouched. I will fetch him presently. But here comes Anthony. Welcome, Mark Anthony. Thus thou lies away. Are all the confused glories drummed spoils drunk to this little mission? Fear thee well. I know not, gentlemen, what you intend. Who else must be lead blood? Who else is friend? If myself there is no other to fit a Caesar death tower, oh no instrument. Beg not your death of us, thought now we must appear bloody and cruel as. By our hands and this our present act, our hearts you see not, they are pitiful, Mark Anthony. Prepare the body then and follow us. This ghostly blood over oh, the ones now be a corpse. A cause shall light upon the limbs of men. Domestic fury and fear, civil skiffy, shall cure and depart. Shall in these confines with the march of voice cry for of and sleep the dogs of war. We will be satisfied. Let us be satisfied. 
then follow me and give me audience friends i will hear brutus speak the noble brutus is ascended silence be patient till the last romans countrymen and lovers if there are any in this assembly and any dear friends of jesus to tell him i say the brutus love to caesar was no less than his if then that the friends demand why brutus rose against caesar this is my answer not that i loved caesar less but that i loved rome more bring him with from home unto his home give him a statue with his ancestors let him be caesar caesar's better part shall be crowned in brutus we will bring him to his house with shouts and clamors my countrymen peace silence brutus speak peace ho good countrymen let me depart alone and for my sake stay here with anthony which by our permission is allowed to make save alone till anthony have spoke for brutus sake i am beholding to you were best to speak to harm of brutus here this caesar was a rhyland that certain we are bleed the roman in rid of him peace let us hear what anthony can say you enter romans friends romans countrymen lend me your ears i come to bury caesar not to prize him the evil that men to lives after them the good is soft interred with their bonds so let it be with caesar the noble brutus he told you caesar was ambitious brutus is an honorable man come to speak in caesar's funeral he was my friend faithful and just to me but brutus says he was ambitious and brutus is an honorable man he hate brought many captive home to rome when that the poor have cried caesar had wept yet brutus says he was ambitious and brutus is an honorable man you all did see that on the lupercal i thrice present him a kingly crown which he did thrice refuse was this ambition Jet Brutus says he was ambitious and sure he is an honorable man I speak not to this prove that Brutus spoke but here I am to speak what I do know bear with me my heart is in the coffin where with Caesar but I must pause till it come back to me oh peculiar spectacle oh noble Caesar Oh waffle day Reuters brilliant oh most bloody sight we will be revenge revenge about see burn fire hill slay let not the dry life we will burn the house of Brutus away then come seek the ancestors our next king Octavius Caesar's son Octavius again Caesar Octavius Caesar live long